I'm just coughing, that's all. Um, so just perhaps giving ourselves a chance just to arrive, whatever that might mean for each of us. Um, I'm Helen, for those who I haven't met, but I think I've met nearly everybody now. Um, and yeah, how is it just to be here now? I'm so conscious of this pull between past and future. It seems to be really um, in relief, thrown into relief by these days of, I, I heard somebody refer to them as limbo. Um, the, the time that we all knew what was the old normal and um, whatever will come. So how do we just drop into this present moment when we're caught between those two really strong opposing forces of what we're calling the old normal and what we don't know is going to happen in, in the weeks and months ahead. It's so easy to be caught between the yearning for what was and the worry and fear and hope about what may be and what might come to pass. I suppose our invitation with mindfulness is to really acknowledge both of those forces and really acknowledge both of those pulls and sense into how the mind is, is drawn into these naturally. We're human. Naturally, this is where we're drawn. And yet we have also, all of us, the capacity to come right into this present moment also, however it is. Maybe the mind doesn't want to be here because it's afraid it mightn't be so pleasant. But how might it be just to even experiment a little <coughs> with what it might be like to really turn towards this moment as best we can. Eyes open, eyes closed. Doesn't matter. What matters is just bringing this attention to this experience of being right here as best we can, however that is for each one of us. And the most accessible path into the present moment is through this body. So inviting you now, if it feels okay to draw the attention inward and to just notice how it is to find the body in whatever shape it's in today. So perhaps you're sitting, perhaps you're lying. Just noticing how how the body is shaped. How the body is aligned or not. When we bring attention in, can we sense areas of ease, perhaps areas of unease? Areas with very little sensation or very little seeming experience right now. This kind of broad brush stroke of attention just to this experience of having a body right now, inhabiting a body right now. And feeling free to make whatever adjustments seem to be called for. Often when we pay attention to how we're sitting or lying, what we notice is our habitual ways of, of holding the body, perhaps in intense ways. I notice my head is usually forward, my shoulders are a bit raised. And so when I pay attention like this, it's an opportunity to 
respond mindfully, gently, inviting the shoulders to find more ease perhaps, inviting the head to draw back a little. Noticing the contact between the body and the floor or the chair. And how I am working with or working against the effects of gravity. as best we can, perhaps just tuning into that gravitational pull in the hips, the legs, the feet. And maybe, maybe there is the possibility of some support, some more support than we're already receiving, perhaps. Some release may be available here. Allowing the body to to settle, to feel the support of whatever we're sitting or lying on. and inviting the mind to perhaps settle into the body. So if we allow this, this ground, this chair, this floor to provide us with a sense of containment for the body. And then as best we can, allowing the body to provide us with a container for the mind. <clears throat> the mind so often lost in past and future. Gently inviting this mind to rest into this physical experience of being embodied. Inviting us to be curious about how we know, how we know we are embodied. What are the sensations that allow us to know we have a body? How do we know the, how the weight is distributed? Can we sense the height of the body? The contours of the body? So we are sensing beings, all our senses, awake and receiving information from our environment and from the body itself.
and you may be noticing this morning that the mind is very active or perhaps less active. <clears throat> but either way, whether the mind is busy or less busy, our task doesn't change. It is to recognize when the mind has wandered. The moment of recognition is a moment of being awake, a moment of presence. And so you might like to acknowledge where the mind has wandered to, thinking, or planning, maybe worrying, maybe wishing. And then ever so gently, as though just putting your arm around a wayward child, leading the attention back to this sitting or lying right here, this experience of being alive, being human, being embodied. Feeling the weight of the body, the height of the body, and also the, the width of the body, the space all around us that we, that we inhabit, that we regard as our space. It goes beyond the, the boundary of the skin. And with this widening attention, perhaps opening to sound. Whatever sounds are in your environment, the layers of sound. Sounds near and far. And perhaps silence. The silence in between sounds. What's, what is the sound of silence? Perhaps noticing how sounds arise out of the silence. Stay for a while. 
and maybe fade again back into the silence. Perhaps noticing the sounds we're drawn to, sounds we search for. And the ones we pull away from. And inviting, inviting us to as best we can just receive whatever sounds are arising in each of our environments. Noticing the pull towards, the pull from, and perhaps allowing those attractions and pulls away to fade and experience the sound just as sound, as best we can. Perhaps now just staying with sound, if that's where you'd like to stay or staying with sensations in the body, if that's what helps you and supports you in remaining present or in coming back to presence. But if you would like, if you choose, perhaps shifting the attention now to where the air moves into the body and out of the body. So just as the sound comes to us on the air, we might notice the air also moves in and out of the body in the form of the breath. You might want to stay just at the point of entry, just at the sensations of the breath in the nose. Or you might want to bring the attention to someplace else where the breath is most alive for you. Perhaps in the chest or the belly. And so we're, we're always breathing from the moment of our birth, we're always breathing. But right now we're paying attention to that. So we're conscious of our breath, conscious of the in-breath, conscious of the out-breath. not changing anything, no special way to breathe. Just allowing the breath to be received and released again as best we can.
And perhaps now, if you would like, and only if you would like, allowing yourself to just open up to all of your experience. So rather than anchoring the breath, anchoring the attention in the breath or the body or in sounds, just allowing ourselves to hold it all. So if it feels too much, coming back to any of those anchors. But if it feels okay to really acknowledge how, how am I? What states of mind, what moods are here, what emotions? And with a sense of arms wide to hold it all as best we can. So perhaps the yearning for what's gone, sadness or grief for what's gone, perhaps some relief, some hope for what will come, maybe some fear. So our deepest presence is in allowing all of our experience to be as it is but from this place of some sense of holding, some sense of groundedness. Really no need to fix ourselves or tweak our experience or change anything this capacity to turn towards ourselves and allow ourselves to just be as we are. Perhaps saying it's okay to feel this way. Returning to an anchor at any point. If we feel that's the wise thing to do. Sharon Salzberg talks about cultivating a heart as wide as the world. And in a way, sitting with our experience in this spacious way is cultivating that, that big heart. No doubt the mind has wandered many times, but remembering that each time we notice this, that's a moment of being present. We're already present. We're already here. The 
and then we can deliberately and gently escort the mind back to whatever is happening in this present moment. If that feels too unwieldy, then perhaps just to this in-breath, just to this out-breath. And shortly I'm going to bring our sitting to a close. Um, but just to really thank you for being here. And um, I'm going to hang on a little longer this morning. And um, if anyone would like to ask any questions about what we've just done or the practice and um, if you have any questions